What's up ladies and gentlemen, I am back. It's been about nine days since my last upload. Enjoying the time off and looking at houses trying to purchase a house, but that's neither here nor there. We've got a very good video to talk about today. This is going to be the ultimate XL candy guide and everything that you need to know in order to get as many XL candies as physically possible. Okay, so there. this is about a month ago, XL candy statistics and drop rate, because you probably aren't 100% sure how do XL candies work. Why am I getting some random XL candies here and there at lower level Pokemon that I catch that have like a 400 Stardust level, which is like level 2, and then why am I guaranteed almost an XL candy for every really high level CP Pokemon, like level 30 and up? catching as well like why do i get a guaranteed candy from those well someone did the statistics and here are the numbers here is what you need to know to guarantee yourself xl candy from the pokemon you're catching and whether you can run away from it to you know save some time so as you can see pokemon from level one to two you only have 8.3 percent rate and then 8.3 percent uh transfer level three for four nope zero percent chance you're gonna get an xl candy uh, 5 through 6, 9.5, 0% chance on transfer. So you're gambling there. 7 through 8, you only get 5% chance in transfer and not catch. 9 through 10, 11.8, 0 in transfer. Uh, 13 through 14, 9.5, 4.8, eh. Now this one's really weird. 15 through 16, 29.2 and 30.4. So, you know, around 1900 CP, or uh, Stardust cost, excuse me is uh is going to be where you would transfer this and have a higher chance of getting a uh xl candy now real quick i want to address the elephant in the room you're probably thinking fit city how in the world am i supposed to know what cp pokemon per level in order to maximize my chances well i'm glad you asked that so there is a nice little tool that you can find on the pokemon go hub so we're at the pokemon go hub okay now go to the database it's on the top here right next to where my camera is go to the database now search a pokemon let's say you're wanting to farm routes let's farm routes right we'll click routes refresh here here's routes cp chart here you go this is what you can memorize or have a better understanding of what levels uh minimum cp and max cp at their current levels what you can be looking for now i understand this is a lot of information to soak in but if there's a if there's a spotlight hour of a pokemon you're really trying to farm just getting a general idea of what its cp is going off the database here will give you farther success in obtaining xl candies so you could skip the smaller ones and go for the bigger cp pokemon and that's kind of what i'm getting at you're going to want to go for the bigger cp pokemon because as you can see level 23 through 24 you got 63.2 percent chance of getting candy from catching let's go it even farther let's say they're weather boosted and you're finding level 30 pokemon and above 52 and a half percent 47 and a half 88.9%, 67.7, 120%, which means you are going to get an XL candy in 75. And then level 35, you got a 50 50 chance, but you have a 100 chance in transferring. And you can see uh, how this chart has been put together. I will link this in the description down below. This is crucial, this is critical in farming XL candy to not only power up really powerful Pokemon to level 50, but to also hit level 48 as well. You have to max out three Pokemon with XL candy, and you need to really right now figure out, choose which Pokemon you, those are going to be, because you need to start farming them ASAP. This is no small task, this is a very daunting task, it's one of the hardest things we've ever had to do in Pokemon Go, not only with the Stardust cost, but the XL candy it is very hard to do so like i said you could go use the database to get an idea of what levels you're looking at what kind of cp ranges you're looking at so you're not wasting time uh playing the lottery because that's what you'd be doing with these xl candies so like i said i will have this in the description down below you can click it you can save it and of course you guys are always aware of the go hub database you could use that to your advantage as well there's no other way around this um this is how it works and instead of telling you to you know look at certain pokemon blah 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 this is it this is all you need to know 
to farm as many XL candy as you possibly can. So again, like I said, you could skimp out on lower levels and lower CP of Pokemon, because some of you guys might have some memorizations of CP levels of Pokemon if you've been playing for a while. You're like, oh, well, this Charmander's 100 CP. I know that's really low. That's not a high level. I'll go catch a Charmander over 600 CP, because I know that's level 30 and above. So just kind of an idea of how you can start farming for XL Candy. Now, let's go into some problems with XL Candy as well. Catching Pokemon. Uh... We've already talked about that. There was a trading controversy. I don't know if you guys were aware of this. I'll link this article in the description down below as well if you want to read it. But when the XO Candy system was first released, trainers found out that it was possible to see whether you were going to get an XL trade candy or an XL candy from the trade before completing the trade. Just like you see the cost, you can see if you're getting an XL candy. And apparently that was an exploit. This was flagged as abuse by Niantic. Yeah. And they decided to disable it. Uh, for any kind of possibility to get XL candy from trades. This was flagged as abuse. Niantic didn't intend for this. This was abuse. Isn't that ridiculous? Niantic should intended to show you that you would be getting an XL candy instead of it being random, so you cannot get XL candy up to this point right now as you're watching this video from trades. But you're supposed to be able to. Uh, it needs a rework, and I completely agree. Legendaries. Legendaries need rework. So here we go. Incredible numbers, but even the great Brandon Tan can't get enough XL candy to max legendary when there needs to be a rework. So here is the issue. After seven plus days of raiding Calgary and Groudon, I managed to collect 222 and 220 XL candies respectively after a total of 817 raids with 796 of them caught. Despite taking a longer time to do raids, I enjoy the process of catching them, especially the challenge to catch Kyogre. After, let's just put a dollar value to it, after $817, he only got 221 XL candy and 222 for the other, and that's not even enough to max out either of those Pokemon to level 50, because guess what, you need 296 to fully max out a Pokemon to level 50. So you can probably see the issue there. That's absolutely ridiculous. We need a rework. How can this change? We need XL rare candies as rewards on top of regular rare candies as rewards in raids. It's just simply put, add the extra uh, rare candy XL in there as a reward, an extra loot reward. Like, don't take something out. Don't say, okay, well, we're gonna take revives out. No, add another one into the list. Like, if you get five rewards, add six to a raid. Just, it's that simple. Just add another, another slot and don't take anything out. Don't substitute it with anything. Instead of saying, oh, five slots to get rewards. Okay, so here you go. Uh, Golden Raspberry, um, Revive, Max Potion, Rare Candy, Max Revive or something. And then the XL Candy, you just, you, you, you were out of luck. You didn't win the lottery. No, add that six slot guaranteed XL candy uh, for sure. It don't be greedy, okay? We've been playing this game forever. That's how they should fix it. That's that's what would help. So those XL candies can go toward whatever you want, not just the Pokemon you're raiding. Go Battle League is another uh, thing too. There's a lot of Pokemon that are getting better in Go Battle League with their XL versions. Ultra League is a good one. Stunfist XL is really good. Reggie Steel XL, Obama Snow XL. Uh, Politoed XL, Scrafty XL, Mandibuzz XL, Jealous and XL, but we can't get the candies or the XL rare candies to power up these Pokemon. But in a sense, it's kind of pay to play and pay to win because if you don't play a lot and you can't get these Pokemon, not saying you can't still win the competition, but these people are going to do a lot better than you, especially if they're really good at PvP at the same time. So, uh, I'm just curious what you guys think. Uh, I hope this guide helps. Let me know, please. Let me know if this helps big time so you guys aren't, you guys can skip and you're not wasting time catching Pokemon. Of course, farming candy is always good, but if you're really trying to farm XL candy, this is the best way to do it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the XL candy system as a whole in the comment section down below. Smash that like button and subscribe. Be a part of the Fit City fam. There's a lot of people who watch my videos that don't subscribe. I'd really appreciate it if you guys did hit subscribe. It's like a 90 to 10% conversion ratio. 90% of my viewers don't subscribe to the channel. Um, so I really appreciate it if you guys did subscribe because you're always coming back and watching more videos. Uh, so be a part of the Fit City fam. You won't regret it.
that's it with the boy Fitzy. I'm signing off. See you guys in the next Pokemon Go video.